Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some Europa Universalis 4 as... <clears throat> excuse me. Austria, in our Austria campaign. Last we left off, I think we're going to declare a war on the Ottomans. He's got uh, no manpower. He's running out of men. He's got a little bit of debt, actually. He's got about, uh, about 1,800 decades of debt. And so I think a war is in order with the great Ottoman hordes. We're pretty strong. We just handily defeated... France and a couple of other people. So. I think we're going to do just fine. think we're going to do just fine. Fucking hell. Apparently Luxembourg is now the people controller. Seriously. Fuck. Anyway. So let's declare here. We're going to go for... We're going to co-belligerent, I think, Tunis. No, we'll, we'll co-belligerent for Zon. We'll leave Tunis alone. Um, I don't know. We'll go for a goose, I guess, because that's a permanent claim for us. Okay, so what's the balance of power? It's actually a little bit even, but, I mean, we're not taking into account... Ooh, he's got a lot of troops up there. In that case, then I'm actually going to send one of these armies up north. Holy shit, that's a huge navy. Look at that, 74 galleys right there. We've got 10 heavies. Holy shit, he destroyed 20 of my heavies already. And then 61 lights. Jesus, H. Christ. Let's withdraw from this battle, I think. So we lost the entirety of our heavy fleet already. Holy fucking shit! It's gonna take me out of nowhere. <clears throat> okay, so he means business. <laughs> he means business. This guy is he's ready for war. At least Spain's got some liberty desire. Health of power subjects. Okay. Also, a coalition that's apparently joining against us, but co but aggressive expansion goes away at 2.7 yearly. Not the worst thing in the world. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. These generals, these troops are amazing. So he got manpower back because of this war. Okay, so now we are decisively outnumbered. Holy shit, dude. <clears throat> Holy fucking shit. Look at this. Look at this, dude. Oh my god, the amount of troops that he is throwing into this battle is crazy. <laughs> Holy god. We just got decisively defeated. We killed um, 33,000 Ahmed troops to lose like 40 or 43,000. Holy goddamn. This guy means business. This is not a joke. Holy shit. He marked up so fast? Wow. Okay. Is this all inventory? Is there, there? No, there's artillery too. Yeah. These stacks are actually pretty good. <clears throat> okay, so so far we've suffered pretty decisive defeats. Let's try and hold them off here in Hungary for a second. Holy shit, dude. This guy's not kidding. This guy means business. Um. 
Let me see. We need a we have a four defense guy. I need like a discipline guy or some shit like now. Or like yesterday. Jesus Christ. Look at that, a 6343 general. That is insane, man. Yeah, this guy. Can we get a Defender of the Faith? Ruler's female. Good point. Dude, holy shit. Wow. We're losing decisive numbers of men. That's great. So I think he's he's slackening his recruitment standards too, is I think what's going on here. Really? He's gonna attack me with 27,000 men, no general? Really? Okay, so we stack wipe that force. Yeah, so we need to fight him in we need to defeat him in detail. Wherever we can. We've got some forts. That's a mountain fort. We want to definitely hold on to that if we can. Uh, looks like he's gearing up for another attack. That's quite a few troops here. Let's see. Where are... So Spain is over here. He's blockading the Dardanelles. And then he's got troops in North Africa, so he's taking care of the Tunisians. Pope doesn't like me too much. Okay, so we have more discipline, more morale, more tactics. Um, it's just our, our units are a little low, at low strength right now. Dude, he has some amazing generals, though. This is his ruler, 6222, uh, 6221. Okay, we need to withdraw from this, because we've got artillery in the front row. So we, we, we're killing more than we're losing, but these are not victories. We're losing significant numbers of men. He's got, um... Shit, he's got a shit ton of troops. He's got, like, three times my force strength right now. My god. <clears throat> terrifying. This is terrifying, Bauer. Okay, let's hold back for a second. We gotta we gotta replenish these stacks. Before we engage again, we're 90,000 men in the manpower hole. These Ottomans are just running over us. Holy Jesus. I would get a reinforced speed guy. We do have a morale of armies guy. I actually think the discipline might be more worth it right now. Um, because we do more damage. We replenish about 12,000 a month. Holy... Fuck, dude. 300,000 men. 108 mercenaries. He is 5,000 ducats in debt right now. That is beyond incredible. We're going to fight him in Vienna. <clears throat> I think he's going to throw in everything he's got here. Dude. Oh my god. 200,000 Ottoman troops in here. Let's retreat to Italy. Holy shit. We lost 18,000 artillery. Um, let's see, leans, where is that? What do we produce there now? 
Green? Yeah, I'll take the cloth. Mother of God. What's the siege ability right now? Holy fuck, dude. 44.5% siege ability here. That is just scary. We get land force modifier plus 50% from this. We get land attrition. Um, attrition for enemies. National garrison growth. Attrition for enemies from guerrilla warfare. This is movement speed. We'll take that policy there. Trade uh, movement speed. Trade efficiency modifier. Goods produced modifier is pretty nice. Make a lot of money from that. Dude, this is unreal. Holy shit. This is an incredible amount of troops these Ottomans are mustering right now. And he's still getting manpower too. I think he's I think he's slackening the recruitment standards. Okay, we need to hold him off in the mountains for sure. If we lose Vienna, that's okay, but we have to hold the mountain forts. Because that's where we're going to get the best rolls and everything. So he's got, he's got like full spy power at us right now. Uh, well, actually, we just discovered him. Fuck. I was hoping to attack him there. Really? Shit. Oh, god damn it, man. I was fucking hoping we would not have to do that. Have to lose that fort. Son of a bitch. Yeah, we're just gonna have to straight consolidate now. So we've got we've got we're running out of manpower here. We've got, we just doubled our force limit, though. I'm not entirely sure what we should do with that, though, because I can't really afford the mercenary troops. Right? It doesn't make a lot of sense to do that. This fucking guy. Jesus Christ. We can't sit here on this fort. This is, a, this is yeah, 5% of 100,000? That's, that's a lot. It's like 5,000 a month. Son of a bitch. Let's attack. Let's force him to take battles in the mountains. Am I going to lose that one? Nope. Yeah, we got to hold them off in the mountain forts. Jesus fucking Christ. These are just incredible battles. Oh my god. Uh, let's wait for them to lock in first. <clears throat> what? Dude, no fucking way. You actually got out of that? You bastard. Okay, so we destroyed... Eh, that was a decent number. Holy shit, though, man. I was like, what? No way, dude. Okay. So we're running out of manpower here. Let's keep let's keep the manpower coming along. I, I could get some mercs. I mean, I'm not entirely sure if it's worth it or not. Mercs are not that good at troops, so... <clears throat> we are getting fucking wrecked, though, dude. 
This is not a joke. Okay, we're actually killing quite a few numbers of men now. I kind of want to see if I can get on that fort. I'm not- I'm- he might actually let me get there. Yeah. He might let me do it. Fuck me. Oh, dude. Fuck, really? I think we lost that because of morale. Oh my god, we just got stack wipe. Alright. Yep. Okay, so we lost quite a bit. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, after that stack wipe, you gotta, gotta bail out of there. So we can rebuild now. Let's get, um, let's get our armies. Let's see, 34 and 20. Let me do one in Pest, one in Vienna. Let's slack in all the recruiting standards. Okay, so we'll have to attack them again in the future, but holy shit! Those Ottomans are not kidding, those guys are fucking strong. It's like not a joke. My god. Let's get some troops in Mantua. <clears throat> I didn't I did not actually think we'd be stack wiped in that in that battle. That 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 was painful. That was fucking painful. Um Let's see, it's like really absolutism actually. I mean, I don't know, it wasn't it wasn't so bad in that we can't recover from the war. We lost we lost a few cores and stuff around here, but they I mean these are full cores anyway, so we can always take them back. But um yeah, these Ottomans are extremely powerful. Holy shit. Even with Spain's help, man. That is just terrifying. 300, 400 force men, 300,000 men, 83 mercenaries. This guy's fucking 8,000 buckets in debt. That is crazy. Yeah, we had to take that loss. But um, we, we can come back from it. Gets more manpower. Gets more armies. We'll do just fine. We've got we've got plenty of money. We've got shit tons of money coming in. Yeah, but after that stack wipe, it, it wouldn't be worth it to try and continue prosecuting the war. You just you gotta take the loss. Okay, so let's just wait for the manpower to come back. It actually is not too bad. We get some revanchism right now. We get 26% revanchism. Um, we're gonna hold off on the trade company investments. We should rebuild the navy. Our navy was completely destroyed. We're still making really good money for, for the navy being gone. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna need heavies. A lot of heavies. See, Tuscany, Tuscany's got 110 development just in between itself. Can you believe that? That's insane. That goes to the burgers. I think burgers and burgers. Then Siena itself. Um, actually, I think you should still go to the burgers. That's funny. Nobility, nobility probably shouldn't get it. I don't think so. Clergy, maybe. No, it's not. It's not too bad. This is glass. Let's see. Let's check out our grain provinces. Make sure we can give some of those to the nobility. Um, they should tend to go to the burgers because it's a lot of. Yeah, this is grain, so we'll give to the. <clears throat> we need more trade power here in Genoa, so we're going to boost. Wow, that really increased our income. Holy Jesus.
Apparently Portugal's still got a disputed succession. Let's get a royal marriage there. What's going on with Spain? No, he's doing fine. Okay, so we lost that general there. Okay. <clears throat> As for contribution, demand nomadic support. Let's see, we could raise additional levies, recruit a minister. That'd be using quite a bit of policies. Actually, another thing about it. Policies, four to four leaders, minus two. Crazy allies, though. First population boom. Yeah, so I think we we may need we may need. I'm I'm thinking more artillery in the armies. Not entirely sure. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah, I think we're going to ally with Russia. <clears throat> I think it's a pretty smart move. We've still got Saxony, Portugal, Spain. We've still got a lot of allies and such. 1661, we gotta, we got to start this war again. Yeah, we'll attack him. He's got 136,000 manpower, 232,000 troops. We'll probably call in Russia on that one. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Russia is pretty much just inf infantry, though. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, but that was fucking painful. I think we need... Oh, wow, we lost all of our boats? Really? Every single one? What happened to our transports? I suppose we lost our transports. All right, so I'll do... Honestly, in that case, then, we'll probably do about 60 heavies or so. It's about 6,000 ducats. Or maybe 50? I mean, Spain's got 26. Ottomans have four. He's got 38 galleys. Let's do, let's, let's keep it at a um, number 50. Yeah, we'll do 50 and then we'll do, we'll do 20. I think we'll do 20 trade ships to protect trade, but I think we'll do 50 heavies. Could accept a new culture. We're thinking Lombard, Piedmontese. I guess we'll take Lombard. That's fine. Tuscan's kind of up there. Holy shit, both of our <laughs> all of our advisors died. Let's do um if I can go here, I can grab McCall Diet here. 
Let me get that dude. See, I got two improved relations guys. This guy's younger though. I'll grab him. Then this discipline advisor. I'll bring you up to level three. So war reps, we're making quite a bit of money. Wow, from Portugal and France. Portugal makes shit tons of cash. Holy god. Um. Yeah, so we need the Navy to be back to strength. Pretty sure we're not going to get this personal union over Portugal, but that'd be nice. This Empire of Spain. Still do not know why we're not eligible for the Emperorship. Not that it matters too much. I mean, if we were Emperor, we would definitely be stronger. We would definitely be stronger than... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we got a, we got an error here. I'm actually willing to take this a little early, but let's wait for our institution first. Really? A monarch death? Succession war between Gelray and Austria? Holy shit. For the British Empire? That's cool. French Canada, Tunis, the Ottomans, 1661. Still about four years. Syria, Tunis. Ottomans declare war on the car, Queen Lou. No, we don't need any manpower. Damn, we lost quite a bit of territory. Holy shit. These guys took a lot. Let's take that. So, we can support another... Was that higher last time? I swear it was. I swear it was higher. I don't know. Let's see, how expensive is this? Because our, our supply limit still isn't, is, I think, enough to support more troops. Um, we just, we can't support them much in one province. Such bullshit, man. I'm serious. Oh shit, we give him Dalmatia? Really? Wow. I forgot about that. Hmm. 
That's unfortunate. I didn't I didn't know I gave that to him. Apparently that wasn't a full core. No, no, we have a permanent claim, yeah. So it wasn't a full core, so we actually Damn, that's unfortunate. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? Yeah, so we got a lot we need to take back from that guy. These fucking Ottomans. We make a shit ton of money though. Yeah, I think we're gonna do we're gonna do 50 heavies, I think. How much is that? That is how much does it cost? That's 2,500 ducats worth of ships. Protect trade. We can go to either Venice or Genoa. Let's try Genoa. All right, Genoa it is. Oh, that's right, we do have five out of four leaders. Yeah, our, our generals aren't that great, I'll admit. Jesus Christ. Okay, so yeah, so we have about 216,000 men, about 104,000 men power. Um, trade depots, not too bad. I think we already have shipyards here. It's a level four fort. I don't think we're actually gonna do too much combat here in Italy, so I'm gonna go and get rid of that fort. I think we should do just fine. I think we've already got, yeah, we've already got the uh, shipyards. Palantinate. 45 years old, you got an error, you got an error. Okay, so the Ottomans have 200,000 men. No, 250,000 men, 200,000 men power. Okay. I wish we had more diplomats. I'll admit, it'd be pretty nice to have more diplomats. We could also leave the HRE and become... <clears throat> we could leave the HRE and become a... Just our own empire. Probably not the worst idea in the world. Let's get these, um, let's get these heavies. Thirty-four seventy-two. Let's see, thirty-four seventy-two. Let's see. Okay, so building them in Venice is actually the fastest way to get these guys. So if it was forty-eight.
Holy shit, how long would it take to build these things? Wait a minute, there's 365 days in a year. Holy shit, dude. To build all of these heavies would take fucking like, literally like 10 years. <laughs> That's crazy. That's insane. It's kind of cool though. I mean, I don't know, do you want to wait 10 years to attack the Ottomans or what? Not really, I kind of want, I kind of want another piece at them now. But I think having naval superiority would really kind of be beneficial. So maybe we'll just wait. Yeah, let me build, let me build 48 heavies here. And then, um, in the meantime, maybe we will, actually, I wouldn't mind obtaining more control over Burgundy. I don't know. Defender of the Sunni faith. Ottomans declared war in Funj. Apparently Russia has 3,000 decades in debt. People's state is not only favors. Join offensive wars with the people's state. Oh, really? That's curious. Yeah, I mean, I could join your offensive wars. There's nobody you can attack, though. Join offensive wars. See Spain, people state Saxony. Nope, don't want to join your offensive wars. Let's see, the chess name Hungary. <clears throat> see, the Turkish occupation of Central Hungary, Central Hungary remained a volatile issue. Centralized administration from our capital. Use one stability, gain two base tax. Interesting. Okay, ten and rest in a lot of stuff in Hungary, or this Hungary become a free nation. Yeah. Hmm. Very interesting event. That's kind of cool, though. Let's start a golden era, I think. We'll use it against the Ottomans, probably. Mystery efficiency, protecting forts. That really doesn't help me too much. Our streaming cost. Time to change cooldown. I'll take the administrative efficiency. So 
So we're in our golden era against this guy. Brescia, you would join. He's still kind of in debt, though. <clears throat> He's a great power, right? Yeah. So, technically, I have the most development in the world. We can actually integrate Spain. Spain has been a subject of mine for a long time, probably. We would get his colonies. Or we'd just leave him there. I mean, I'm kind of curious. How long would it take to integrate him? I'm kind of curious about that. We could actually probably use the territory ourselves. See, diminishing annexation cost only costs... It's only minus 40%. Very interesting. Great Britain declared war on France. I mean, if we annex Spain, we would we would be a straight up global empire. Holy Jesus, that would only take us about thirty years. Sixteen sixty four to sixteen ninety two. That's what that's what twenty eight years, I think. That'd be cool. I don't know. Maybe maybe I think it would probably take too long. I think all things considered, but um, I think just leaving it there is fine. Yeah, I think it's actually just fine. I don't think we need to... Yeah. Glory to us. Um, building universities is actually pretty useful because the possible number of buildings plus the local development cost if you have if you have them everywhere they're actually really useful and we could actually attack the Ottomans with almost 10 years ahead on tech damn artillery fire cavalry fire artillery shock artillery fire artillery shock not bad we wouldn't have the Navy, but we could be quite a bit ahead on tech. I'll consider that one. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to take a break here, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And consider support of the channel Patreon. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much.